Early snow and bitter cold caught some by surprise, and apparently the city of Chicago is no exception. CBS 2's Charlie DeMars live along the expressway on the Fulton Market Bridge. Charlie. Brad, good evening. Yeah, this sidewalk along the overpass, along with several others nearby, check it out, covered in a thick layer of ice. It certainly has not been salted, hasn't been hit with a shovel. And this isn't in front of a business, this isn't in front of a home. This is the city's responsibility. It's a slip and slide every day. You're literally having to walk in the middle of the road just to be safe and not fall. Our cameras saw the baby step inching across the icy bridge on Adams. People grasping onto the red railing, even the shuffle to scoot across for the evening commute. I can't count how many times I almost fell, almost fell walking to work. There were countless near slips, even a mom looking down to navigate the ice covered sidewalks along the expressway overpass. This is the worst part of my walk. It's obviously really slippery and dangerous. It's treacherous. It's not if somebody falls, it's when they fall. Number one, I'm hoping I don't fall and somebody see me. Number two, I hope I don't get hurt. Number three, why we don't have salt down? That's a question for the Chicago Department of Transportation, not Streets and Sanitation, who we saw pull up near an iced over overpass, but then took off a short time later. If I told you this was the city's responsibility to take care of, uh, what would you say to that? They need to do their job. It's dangerous walking to work. I'm just trying to go to work and I got to walk on ice. Get on it. It's, you know, it's timely. Get get on it. It's been like this for, what, three days now? Alderman Brendan Riley took to Twitter saying he talked to CDOT, reminding them that these icy commuter sidewalks are the city's responsibility. Yeah, I think a little salt would uh, go a long way. But I think more should be done about it. Make sure it's safe for people to get to and from work and back to the train and wherever they're coming from each day. A uh, spokesman for the Chicago Department of Transportation cites the abnormal cold and early snowfall, telling me they would send crews out as soon as possible. We haven't seen them yet. Live in Fulton Market, Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. Brad and Erica. Charlie, thank you.